We're going to do lecture notes on section six of chapter eight. But first, you're going to do this warm up. So please write this in your notebook. If you need to draw the pictures to do this, go ahead and draw the pictures. Do it on graph paper, and then you should see a text box on the right for your answers. Okay, here are my answers for the warm up. So double check yours to see where you maybe have questions. Because um, you might, you know, who knows? We might get a quiz or a test sometimes soon. So make sure you know what you're doing. Just don't copy down the answers. Make sure you understand the math. So if you have a question, go ahead and write a question on the side and we can go over this tomorrow during our Zoom lesson. Okay, so write this in your notebook. We're going to look at transformations and similarities. So you do not need to draw the picture, but you do need to write down the text. So to describe a sequence of transformations to determine if two figures are similar. So we kind of did that. The only thing we're adding this new layer is we're looking at the dilations. We've done this. I think it was like 8.4. So write this down in your notebook. And we're going to go over a couple examples. Okay, so example one, determining similarity using transformations. Again, you're writing this all down in your notebook, so if you need to pause the video, pause the video. So you actually will draw the pictures that you see. If you want to use different colors, that really helps me to see the different pictures. So again, if you need to, go ahead and pause the video. Okay, so describe a series of transformations that maps A, B, C onto D, B, F. Okay, so A, B, C looks like that's my green triangle. D, B, F is the blue triangle. So you're going from green to blue. So first you're going to dilate to one half with a center at zero, two. So you're going to keep B at the spot that it is. So notice B doesn't change. Okay, then I'm going to reflect over the Y axis. Whoops. <laughs> so that's all they did. Okay, so don't let the pink triangle confuse you. All right, another example. So again, if you need to pause the video, pause the video. If when you're writing something down, you don't understand how I got there, please write a question mark and we can go over that tomorrow during our Zoom lesson. Okay, quick check. You're writing this in your notebook and if you wanna use your textbook to help you, it's on page 282. So just in general terms, describe the sequence of transformation that maps the logo from Notice from top left to bottom right. So make sure you know which direction we're going. You should see a text box on the right. Go ahead and write your answer in the text box on the right. All right, here's my answer. So they translated this down and to the right. And then they did a dilation with a scale factor of three. So make sure that's in your notebooks. Make sure you know what you're doing. And when you're ready, move on. Okay, are the triangles similar? So please write this in your notebook. Please draw the pictures that you see. Okay, so we're drawing the pictures. So there are many solutions to this problem. So this is just one solution to the problem. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with ABC because you know, that's how my alphabet works. I'm gonna reflect ABC over the X axis. So I'm gonna flip it over to the bottom. Then I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise about the origin. And then I'm going to dilate it with a scale factor of 2. And then I can write my congruent statement that ABC is congruent to Z, Y. Why didn't I go X, Y, Z? Hmm, did I do something wrong? So it should be Z, nope, ZYX. I did that right. Because remember, you want to keep them. So if A is the same point as Z, which it looks like it is, and Y and B are the same point, then I need to keep them in that same order. So again, the first thing I did was I reflected it over um, the, the, the X axis. Okay. And then I rotated it. Oops, 90 degrees counterclockwise 
counterclockwise, and then we went from two to four, so we doubled the size of it, okay? If you have questions, you can write those. You're going to circle which part you don't get so that you can ask tomorrow during our Zoom lesson. So there is another way that I can say my two triangles are similar. I can look at the SAS similarity theorem, so it's side, angle, side. Angle B and angle Y are both right angles, correct? And I could look at the measure of AB over BC and compare that with the same thing to ZY and YX, and I should get um, a similar ratio. Okay, so triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ZYX by SAS. So you can write either of those down. You can use either of those. So if you need to pause the video, pause the video. When you're ready to move on, move on. Holy guac of potatoes, that's it. So we're going to do some problems tomorrow during class. So make sure this is all in your notes. Make sure you have that ready as a reference for class tomorrow. See you guys.